Hey, what's going on my friend? This is Aaron Martinez with winwithaaron.com. And today I wanna to show you how to use this tool, Funnel Scripts, to come up with really, really interesting, catchy email subject lines that'll allow your subscribers to open up more emails from you, right? That's, that's the thing, we want to email our subscribers and we want them opening our emails. We don't want them to just end up in the spam folder. We don't want them to be ignored. We don't want them to unsubscribe. We want them to be engaged with us. And one of the ways that we can actually do that is to come up with catchy email subject lines that people actually want to open. And so I'm gonna go over that with you really quick. Okay, so here's this funnel scripts tool that I talked about in one of my other videos and I will put a link to that down in the description if you wanna check out what else you can do with this tool. Okay, so I'm logged into this Funnel Scripts tool. Now, Funnel Scripts is a tool that was developed by Russell Brunson and Jim Edwards. Jim Edwards is one of those copywriting gurus out there that really, really knows his stuff. And so what happens with this tool is you can go in and do all, all sorts of different things related to copywriting. You can do scripts, you can do emails, you can do sales videos, you can get copy for just about anything that you want. And so today we're gonna to focus on email subject line scripts. Now, as always, there is a short little video where they explain how to use the tool and everything, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and just give you an example here while I'm on video recording. And so I'm scrolling down here and they've got some example projects that you can load in, right? Like let's say um, book authors. If I click that, it's gonna populate all this stuff about book authors. So I'm just gonna go through here and let's just, let's change out some of this stuff. So my name's Aaron Martinez and I'm trying to reach out, out to authors, right? It tells you your target audience, plural, so put a plural form of a noun of your audience, right? So this is kind of, kind of like Mad Libs, really. Um, Main keyword phrase, area of interest of your target audience. Well, what are they interested in? They're interested in ebook marketing, for instance, right? What's a big result they want? They wanna publish a bestseller. And you can, you can put anything you want in here. Whatever your target audience wants, you can put that in as long as it starts with a verb. And you'll see why in a minute because what it does is it populates uh, basically a bunch of stuff with these things that you, you just answer these questions fill in the blank, and it generates a whole bunch of combinations of different things that you can use for your sales copy, and in this case, your email subject lines. What's the big thing they want? They want big royalty checks. And then what's a big pain thing they want to avoid? Writing for weeks. Number of solutions you offer. You put just some sort of quantity here, right? So they use nine as an example. Subject line branding so they know instantly it's from you. You could put anything in here. I could actually, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so they're, they're saying seven day ebook, right? And they, they have it in brackets. That's the way the formatting says to do it down here. And you know, when you see something like that in your email inbox, you wanna stand out from the rest of the crowd that's just hitting you up with all these different things. I'm sure you wonder how you get a lot of the emails that you probably get because Sometimes people just sign you up for stuff or somehow somebody gets a hold of a database of emails or whatever. And so you wanna be the person that stands out. You wanna be the person that actually gets their emails opened in their subscribers' inboxes. And so current news story or topic that everyone's talking about, you could say the president, the Oscars, the election, you know, the whatever, right? And then all you have to do here is click this build button. So these are all the variables that I entered, right? And here's what's really cool is it starts to generate all these different email subject lines. Ebook marketing hack, publish a bestseller. Why? Because we told it we wanted to publish a bestseller. Ebook marketing hacks that work. Publish a bestseller, nine great ideas. Remember we put that quantity in there? Big royalty checks, nine great tips. Nine secrets to publish a bestseller. Nine secrets to publish a bestseller fast. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna get all these different email subject lines. And if you have a tool that you can split test subject lines, that was, that's awesome. And I'll go ahead and link down in the description a few different autoresponders that I recommend. And 
some of them actually offer ways that you can split test, right? Split testing is very important, not only in emails, but also in your capture pages and your sales copy, all that stuff. So you wanna test out a bunch of these things to figure out what resonates with your target audience, right? So seven day ebook, here's a shortcut for e ebook marketing, right? You remember how we talked about the bracket thing and how it grabs somebody's attention? That's what you wanna do. The best way I know for ebook e marketing success, the best way I know how to publish a bestseller, right? So like these are all really, really good. And now you can talk about, okay, well, what if I'm giving somebody a report or an ebook marketing plan or whatever? These are different subject lines you can use. And as you can see, we've already scrolled past dozens of these, right? First name, more big royalty checks, less writing for weeks, right? And if you have the fields fil you know, figured out with your autoresponder, it'll populate their first name into here. They'll see their name, they'll see this. It's a catchy headline, right? Or catchy subject line, so they'll open it. Uh, How-to strategy, so there's a lot of, a lot of uh, email subject lines related to strategy. Fr problems, frustrations, mistakes. Frustrated by ebook marketing? They're gonna be like, well, yeah, <laughs> you know? So they're gonna open that email. So there's just tons and tons of different email subject lines here. And what you can do after you get all of this, you can click copy, it'll copy it to your clipboard, then you can paste it into your email, or you can go get results, and you can be like, hey, I wanna download this as a Word doc. So you click that, you download it, it'll download it as a Word doc, or you can be like, all right, I want a Word doc emailed to myself. And you email it to yourself. You can do this for clients, right? Let's say you have a client, you know, that wants you to write copy for them. Like you're you're the person that comes up with their with their copy. Maybe you send emails for them. Maybe you do whatever, and you you offer this as a service to somebody. You could easily just hand out this questionnaire to somebody, right? And you know, get clients, and clients can pay you to actually do this. You populate all the information. It spits out results, and then you start testing it for them, or you you provide them like, hey. Here's what I came up with for catchy subject lines for your emails, right? And so that's what's really, really cool about this. I'm really, really excited about being able to share this tool with you because I've used it myself. It generates great results. And there's just so many different things you can do with it other than coming up with email subject lines, right? We just barely scratched the surface. So if you would like a copy of this, go ahead and there's gonna be a link down in the description below, okay? You're gonna click that. You're gonna check it out for yourself. There's a big video about you know all this stuff, more of an overview, more of like all the different features and, and things you can do with it. And if you decide that you wanna do it, cool. If not, that's cool too. But this is just to give you an idea of like some of the tools that are out there. And it's from a trusted source. It's, it's Jim Edwards and Russell Brunson. And if if you're looking for something you know really, really good by them, I'm gonna put some some links down in the description below of the expert secrets book dot com secrets and there's just some other resources that they've also got available as well so i'll put those links down in the description and as always if you would go ahead and like this video if you got value from it and then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that little bell notification that way you get notified when i upload new content I always appreciate it so much. And also I'm going to put some related videos uh, down and uh, to the side here. So let's see if, uh, if this works. This is kind of an experiment for me, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So anyway, hope to catch you later and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.